major press conference following the NATO summit in Washington, D.C. was not enough to convince some Democrats that President Joe Biden should remain their party's nominee, including some Democrats right here in Colorado. All new tonight, Representative and Colorado Congresswoman Brittany Pedersen is saying President Joe Biden should pass the torch. Channel 2 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin explains. Governor Polis is finally sharing some insight about the future of the Democratic Party, but he isn't calling for a new nominee like Congresswoman Brittany Pedersen did. Well, of course, uh, Democrats can win in November. It's a very close election. Uh, I think it's also fair and objective to say, yes, that uh, President Biden is behind. Governor Jared Polis is breaking his silence on the race for the White House. During a briefing following a meeting of the National Governors Association, the former congressman said Democrats need to change something if they want to win this fall. And if the election is today, we would likely lose. Uh, well, I think this means, means that we need to change something as a strategy. Uh, to protect freedom, protect our democracy, we need to look at what that strategy is. Does it mean changing the campaign strategy, campaign message, the candidate? All of these things are being discussed. Uh, I want to make sure that we put our very best foot forward. But the governor stressed the poor polling numbers don't necessarily mean a replacement is needed. Uh, when you're behind, it doesn't mean you give up. It means you figure out what you need to change to come back and get ahead. Other Democrats from Colorado are being more direct. Congresswoman Brittany Pedersen is adding her name to the growing list of around 20 members of Congress, asking the president to remove himself from the top of the ticket, saying partially in a statement, please pass the torch to one of our many capable Democratic leaders so we have the best chance to defeat Donald Trump, who is the greatest threat to the foundation of this country that we have ever faced. Her plea comes after Colorado Senator Michael Bennett made headlines for saying something similar earlier this week. Congresswoman Diana DeGette told us in a statement earlier this week that she thinks it's a waste of time for Democrats to try to find an alternative path forward. She urged Democrats to stick together to win against former President Trump. And we've reached out to all the members of Colorado's congressional Democratic delegation. We haven't heard back from any of the rest of them just yet. Reporting outside the governor's mansion, Gabrielle Franklin, 2 Prime News.